friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new in today's video i'm sharing with you the little vintage kind of makeover that i did on my closet so this is just my closet um so i could just kind of do whatever i wanted with it i actually started this way back like at the end of last year as you can see my christmas sweaters there um it's nothing too crazy that i did but um i do think it looks really cute so i wanted to share it and i'm not 100 percent happy with it which is why i haven't shared it yet but i'm about to i think do like a big purge in my closet and i just felt like i should probably just film this video and share it before i tear the closet apart with cleaning out my clothes so um yeah it was just kind of a blank slate that i started with i took everything out and i decided to paint it so i painted it this pink color i was using this color for another project in the house so i already had the paint anyway and it didn't use that much um and i think the color was called candy necklace it's kind of like pepto-bismol but I thought it would be cute in the closet just for something fun. Uh, it is a walk-in closet. It's pretty small, but like you can actually walk in it. So I really liked the way that it turned out. I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on this, so I just used things that I already had. And then I did get a few things, one of which was this contact paper. Uh, it's kind of like old newsprinty type paper. It was pretty inexpensive. I did also buy a couple of these like nail polish racks to hang up in there. Um, and I bought some cube shelves and the little cube like storage things. But other than that, it's pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm just going to like film and record the audio at the same time, which I rarely ever do, but it's a lot easier to do that. And we're having company this weekend, so I don't feel like taking time away to try and record a voiceover. So, uh, I'm just going to do both, but Usually what happens when I do that is I end up talking like more than I would if I just recorded the footage and record a voiceover. So maybe we'll call this a chatty detailed tour of the closet. But um, this is in like uh, the spare bedroom, this closet, and it's just mine to use. John has a, another closet that he uses and it's actually bigger than this, but I really like the way it turned out. So I'll just take a look of course as soon as I start filming Marley's coming in here all angry okay so I moved all of the clothes to just this side of the closet there's two bars one on this side but I took that out to make room for other things so um it's not all of my clothes because we have like different seasons here so that's why I'm like ready to put summer away take out fall so I thought I should just film this video um before I do that so all of the clothes up fit like hanging in here um and then up here um I just had these organizers from like years ago and they don't fit in our new dresser they're too like wide so but they do fit here perfect on this like slant so i just have like underwear and socks and bras there and it just works out perfect super easy to put things away and so i ended up putting the contact paper on this like slanted wall which i love how it turned out um we a lot of like older homes they would put like newspaper and stuff on their walls like we lived in a house where one of the closets was like completely it was just like layers of newspaper just over the walls um or i've lived in houses where they have like these really pretty wallpapers in them i don't know so it was kind of like a throwback to that vibe but i do really like it this was really inexpensive on amazon so if it's still available, I can link it below, but I think it was like maybe $15 for the roll and I had enough to do this whole, um, the whole like slant. So then you can see that I've got the wall painted pink and then um, just right here, there was like just enough room for me to put like a wallet or two, like the one that I have there is. I was using it the other day, but I have this small wallet that just fits inside tiny purses. Um, and then I have a bunch of command hooks that I just 
paint it like when I painted the wall <laughs> I just felt like it would help them blend in better but I've got this uh, just purse that I thrifted there so then we've got like my clothes that are hanging up and then right below like where the purse is I just already had this cube um, shelf from years ago so I just have a few pairs of shoes like high heel shoes there um, and then on the floor I just have a couple pairs of like ballet flats that just sit there and then like in behind because it kind of goes back I just have these decorative boxes with like seasonal clothing in it that isn't out and then there's enough room there for my laundry hamper so then next to the shoes this is like an end table that I've had for years like six or seven years we actually have two but um we have like different ones in our room now so um I just have that there. I was able to cover the top with the leftover piece of, um, you know, contact paper from the wall, which is cool. So on here, I just have a few vintage things. I have this um, milk glass vase with some like fake roses in it. I have this Chanel ad from like a 70s magazine that I cut out and just put in a frame. I have this, I love this, this old Chantilly light is like so offensive so it's actually empty but the cardboard piece is still in there like where the powder was and then it just came with these two like this is what you would use to put it on they're just unused um but <laughs> I don't like smell it but when you take the lid off you can smell it and it reminds me of like my grandma's bathroom when I was a kid it's probably toxic like I mean this is probably from the 70s or maybe early 80s so I wouldn't put my face near it but even just taking it off for a second I can smell it so from a distance it's fine I kind of put a lot of random vintage things that I have that I didn't know what to do with in the closet, which is also the part that I'm not like perfectly happy with how it's set up. So, but I got this years ago at the thrift store I worked at. I think it was like a dollar or two. And then this beauty, I'll try to, um, this lamp I found for a dollar fifty a few years ago. I think it is so cute with the little bears, but again, I had nowhere to really put it. Um, so, like, I, I almost got rid of it because I was like, I don't have anywhere to put it. But then in the closet right now, I just have the, like, overhead battery lights on, but it's not super bright. I Also, the door is open, so it's letting some light in. Um, so then I thought, oh, maybe I could just put this in here, and it provides a lot of light. I just had to run an extension cord, like, all the way around and out the door but it works great and I think it looks really cute there it's kind of like what I see when I first walk in so then next to that there is a little space down here and what I've been doing is I put like a reusable bag that fits down there and anytime I want to donate something or get rid of something I just throw it down there and then when it gets full like there's a bunch down there already then I can just take it out it ended up working out nice and then it doesn't really like waste the space so that's there then we've got the cube thing so they were sold out so the nine cube would not fit here and they were sold out of the six cube forever so finally I just broke down and bought this one on Amazon that's made from like a vinyl kind of material and then I bought the like cubes it actually isn't that bad so I've just kept using it I did notice that it's back in stock but um, I don't know I think I might just like keep using this it's like fairly stable but eventually I probably will get the like white piece I mean it would probably look better but I don't know like it it works and it was way less expensive too so I've just been using it ever since so I've got six cubes here uh, the bottom ones are like seasonal things and I just have like workout clothes and pajamas there 
And then on the top, I just have uh, like all of my body butters from the body shop, which is kind of a lot. And then on this side, I just have miscellaneous random things. So I have a pair of sunglasses. I have this little tray. I have this. It's like supposed to look vintage. Um, it just has perfume samples in it. And then I found this Hello Kitty like first aid. I think it just has band-aids in it. But I just set it there because I think it's cute. And then I have this. I think this is like an egg cup. I've had it for a long time. But I, I used to have it on my vanity with my beauty blender in it. But I kind of like keeping my vanity pretty clear. This is just like an extra beauty blender that I have. So I just set it in here because I didn't know what else to do with it. I do like it. I think it's cute. I just was like, I don't know what to do with it. So then I took out the bar that was here full, filled with clothing. I put up two of these nail polish racks, but I wasn't intending just to use them for nail polish. So obviously I have nail polish there, but then I also have all the body shop, like body sprays, body mist that fit in there perfect. So that works out good. Um, I like the body shop cause it's not super strong and I get, um, migraines really easily and these don't give me migraines. So but I know a lot of people don't like them because they say they're not strong enough. But for me, it's like just right. Clearly, I have quite a collection. And then over here in this space, I just put this picture of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. I thrifted this. The, um, I thrifted this a long time ago for like a dollar seventy-five, I think, and I didn't know what to do with it or where to put it so I put it there if you don't know I'm a very big Fred Astaire fan I think he is like the greatest entertainer that the world has ever seen that will ever see um he's just amazing so but I also put this quote here that when he was like first going on the editions like somebody had wrote this on his like resume or file or whatever I just think that's really um I guess like a positive message is like it doesn't matter what other people think they can be wrong because clearly he went on to have an amazing career so that's my little section when you first walk in like and turn to the right and I just I did save the bar in case I ever want to like change it back but so far I like it I like it when I have things out but um so I can see them and use them but I don't actually like like this type of thing like being out in my space so it's good because it's in the closet so I don't have to see it all the time but when I want to see it it's just right there to see so then above my little table here when you first walk in I have this mirror that uh was from my grandma's house and it's nothing special she was just gonna get rid of it so um, I was like, oh, I'll take that. But it doesn't have any hooks or anything on the back. So I just use command strips to stick it to the wall. And I just put it, it's like an oval. I just put it that way to, I just thought it was a good use of it. I, did, I didn't really want to get rid of it, but I didn't have anywhere to put it either. So I just put it here. And then I have this um, like photo printer that will print out photos like from your phone onto these kind of Polaroid style photos so I just put a bunch of like I guess not all vintage because there's some from Mad Men so I've got a few of Trudy's outfits Trudy was my favorite character um, in terms of like fashion on Mad Men and then I do have a couple of Betty who also had amazing fashion um, and then uh, I have a bunch of Jackie Kennedy photos I love her style especially uh, specifically during like the kind of 70s era which I have a bunch of here I just thought it was uh, just amazing um, and then I do have one uh, it's her and her sister Lee in probably I'm guessing the 60s um, with like the Chanel style I'm saying Chanel style because I don't know if they're actually Chanel or not because I know that it's kind of a big deal when first ladies wear designers from other countries so it might be that it's actually chanel or like a chanel look-alike suit but then i have a couple more pictures of lee 
um, who was Jackie's sister, and one when she was older, um, out her, she had an apartment in Paris, so you can see the Eiffel Tower there, and her apartment was amazing, um, so I really like that picture. I think she's still beautiful, even, um, like in her elderly years. And then I've got a picture of Edie from, who's actually cousins with Jackie and uh, Lee, but um, if you know the movie Grey Gardens, you know what, what this is. I love Grey Gardens. I am obsessed with it. It's like the ultimate comfort movie for me. And uh, so uh, this is one of my favorite moments in the film. If you know, if you've seen it, you know, but so his mother wanted me to come out in a kimono. So we had quite a fight. It's just amazing. She's like the ultimate example of just um, being yourself and not giving a shit what anyone else thinks. And then I just have a few more pictures. I have a picture of Doris when she's older. I think it's important to like, I always see people share photos of like old Hollywood stars when they're really young, but you know, everyone gets older and they're still beautiful. A picture of Audrey when she's older um, and a picture of Liz putting on her makeup, obviously from Cleopatra, but I don't know, I just, I like it. Um, I don't know, it's like, uh, when people, I don't use social media, but I know people follow people on Instagram for like style inspiration. <laughs> it's like that kind of thing, but like real life. So then above the mirror here, I just hung up some of my hats. Um, I just used like uh, the command hooks that I painted over pink. And then I just used these pastel binder clips because um, I thought they looked cute, but I was trying to think of a way to hang the hats and not damage them. So I think um, this one was thrifted and this one was thrifted, I believe. Um, and But I think I bought that one new. I don't remember where, but I just thought it was really cute with the summertime and it has the little, um, you know, thing to keep it on. I just thought it was a cute beach hat, but I haven't actually used it at the beach. And then um, hanging down here, I just have this little heart purse that I thrifted a few years ago at the thrift store I used to work at. And that's why I actually got that um, that little tiny wallet because none of my wallets would fit inside. So, and then it had a heart on it. So it worked out perfect. So then kind of tucked up there next to the hats, I just have some more command hooks with some glasses hanging. So. I have these like really big square kind of Jackie Kennedy style ones and then like the heart cat eyes and then just like random ones up there. I was thinking about adding some more hooks and that way I could like add more glasses there, but I don't know. So then I just used the shelving that I already had where, you know, you put the tracks in. Uh, I had this for years. so. What I think I would ultimately like to do is just build custom shelving on this entire wall, but I just don't know how to do that right now. But I'm sure it's not that hard to do. So I just put this up for now. So up there I just have two purses. They're both Betsy Johnson. I I bought this one new like years and years ago. It was like the first time I bought a purse that like wasn't just $10 at some random place, but I actually found this one thrifting. And I, at the time I thought, oh, this would be a really good carry-on bag to use like on a plane, like as your carry-on and your purse. But then um, 2020 happened, so <laughs> no, no planes for a while. And then next to it, right above the door, I just put two more hooks and I just have some um, like baseball hats here. I really like this one because it's like, it reminds me of like 80s like trucker hat, but it also has like a part for your ponytail and then it just says hello sunshine. And then I really just got this one because it said vintage on it. <laughs> I was like, that's made for me. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got up there. Then on this shelf here, this is, we're getting into the part where I don't really like the way it's set up, but I did have one more of those organizers. So I just have like fuzzy slipper socks in there and then this these random cats here. And then I've got this uh, vintage deer. It's like, I used to have this on my vanity as well. And I keep elastics in it, but I just like a cleaner surface on my vanity. So I just put it in here. I don't, 
have anything to put in it though or I couldn't think of anything to put in it so it's just there. I do really like it though so I don't want to get rid of it but I don't know what to do with it either. <laughs> so then down here on the bottom shelf, this is actually like the built-in shelf that was here. I have over here this uh, vintage makeup set from Estee Lauder. Again, I got this at the thrift store I used to work at and like I love it, but I don't know what to do with it. So I was like, I'll just set it in here. Um, I don't want to put something like that in my bathroom because it'll probably just ruin it. Or I don't know, it's brand new. It's not been used before. Um, it even still has like the... I thought I would just show you instead of talking about it, but it has <clears throat> that on it, but it still has the little compact like it still has the piece of paper over it and that's what it looks like I think the it's like really pretty I And there's what it says in case you want to read that. And the lipstick is just red. It's really hard to get open though. And it doesn't like turn anymore. It must be like kind of seized up. But it does say gift on the bottom. So this must have just been like a special, you know, gift set that was given out. Probably at like a department store or something. So then I also have this like vintage Balenciaga like this little mini perfume and I have a little tiny Eiffel Tower back there is like an old Bath and Body Works candle I just saved the I forget what I used to keep in there but I just thought it was so pretty that I wanted to use it for something and on top of it I just have like a reed diffuser going on so it smells really good in the closet it was uh I just got this one from, it's like salted caramel. Right now it just smells like vanilla. Um, and then I just have this jewelry necklace holder. Um, this was, my mom used to make jewelry, so she had quite a few of these. So I kept this one. She actually made this, well, like not this part, but the, like that part. I'm sure she just like would buy stuff like that but <clears throat> so I kept it because I thought it was pretty and then I just have you know fake pearls that I thrifted and then over here we have this vintage um jewelry box that so the weird story about this is my mom had the exact same jewelry box when I was growing up except it was red and she actually gave it to my grandma to use so like it's at my grandma's house and then my mom passed away well I didn't want to ask my grandma for it because like she was using it and my mom had given it to her <laughs> um but I did really want it and then within just a few months I found it in gold so I was like I have to get that I used to have a different vintage one that was made of wood and I like played music which I liked but I do like this one better so I don't actually have like real jewelry I only have like one piece of real jewelry it's just not my thing I'm sure that this like 50 year old perfume smells real good too I wonder if it says what kind it is oh no sometimes they have like a sticker on the bottom that says what And then just kind of stuck in there behind it, I found this vintage pair of Christian Dior like tights, uh, like pantyhose, which I thought was cool. They were like 25 cents, I think, at this thrift store I used to live by. Um, if you couldn't already tell, I'm kind of obsessed with like Paris and France. Um, so yeah. So then next to that in the corner here, I just have some products that are either like backups or things I don't use as much. And I just put them on this little cake tray just because they're, the brand is called Cake. 
and it just looks cute. Well, this is native, but <laughs> it is cherry macaroon. Um, and then I have this little uh, dog figurine. I've had this for a while. Again, I think it's cute, but I didn't know where to put it. So this is like basically the, the case for like a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I just I didn't know where to put it. So I just put it in here, but I do like the way that looks. I think it looks cute. And then of course we've got the, well, they call it cleanse gel, but it's a sanitizer. <laughs> trying to get like a wide shot here of things but it's um not that easy so that is basically um you know my closet this is kind of what I see when I'm walking in it's I think really cute I like that everything is like everything has a place but I can also like find everything I don't know it's uh but again, just with the some of the vintage things, I'm like, do I need these or is this cluttery? I don't know. And then, oh, I did put down two of these little rugs. I just stuck them to the floor um, to make like a little carpet area. We already had those, so um, I just did that. And then I almost forgot the, the door. So uh, I already had this big full length mirror. Um, for years so I just decided to stick it to the inside of the closet door and then um, I had these pineapple lights like battery operated pineapple lights that I didn't know what to do with I thought they were so cute though so then I thought oh I could put them on the back of the door and I have a bunch of these vintage style postcards like they're not actually vintage I think I got them like scrapbooking stuff and a lot of them were like clothing related, so I put a bunch of those. No, I guess they're not all clothing related, but I just thought it looked cute. They're all just basically like vintage ads. So I've got a few different. And then, because they were too big, I just put, I printed it like to, um, I just like, you know, made the photo with the quote. Um, so this is a Carlo Jean quote, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I could be wrong, um, but it's one of my favorite quotes. Anyway, um, it's very, I find it very comforting sometimes, <laughs> um, especially if you're like, upset about something um I don't know it's a good reminder that how you react to things like determines a lot more of how you feel about something than like the thing itself so if you can try to control your reactions to things you will probably be better off than immediately reacting to something so it's a good reminder that I need to utilize sometimes. And then over here, this is actually a quote from Grey Gardens. Uh, Big Edie says this to Little Edie. And I also find this to be a very good, like helpful thing to think about. Um, you know, especially if you have like regret about something or you like think about something that happened that you I don't know just it doesn't really matter like you feel differently as the years go by so you can't really like look back and have those kind of thoughts so it's not always easy but I just love it it's one of my favorite um like quotes in the movie so I printed that out so there's kind of an overview of what it looks like when the door is open and then like my vanity is just um like right here so it's kind of perfect it's like the room that I get ready in um but yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed this video it's probably longer than it needs to be but I don't know oh I I did I think I showed you like I showed you the lamp but I did just put two battery operated um lights up on the ceiling and then I just attached this like little remote for them so you can turn it off or I guess you 
you can put it on a timer. I try to just turn it off so the batteries don't, don't go dead. Oh, that's just to make it brighter. Yeah. Anyway, this is the closet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be something fun to share. I don't know. I, I really like the way it turned out. Even aside from the vintage things that I'm not sure if it looks too cluttered or not. But hopefully someday I will build the built-in shelves there. And I think that would be really cool because then I could really utilize the space. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.